Hey, little girl. What? How's everybody doing today? Back again, doing another vlog, and hopefully... Hey guys, hopefully everybody's doing good today, and coming back... See, today's not gonna be as easy as it was yesterday. Not saying yesterday was any easier, but we're still gonna do it. It's gonna come about. I know it will. I got a list of different stuff I want to talk about, different stuff that I feel like I am interested in talking about, and stuff that I'm hopefully thinking that you would be interested in listening at least. As you see my cat eat in the background possibly, if you can see her. Today, just gonna try to come up with something and see where I can go with it at that. So how about those barons? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, talking is my main problem. Do you ever get those problems? Just trying to come up with something to talk about and you really don't know what to talk about, even though you have plenty of stuff to really just come out and say and just do. I guess that's the, my thing about vlogging. It's kind of like I got plenty of ideas. I know exactly what I want to talk about, but, I just don't know how to come out with it. I mean, you have plenty of people that you see, they get different advice about how to vlog. Like they say, make sure you talk out loud, which I'm doing. Make sure that you're confident in what you're doing, which I'm trying to grow. And you know, just having a script, which I have a script written down, is just more just because I guess this is my first time really doing this. I really don't know what's going on. In my mind, I think I can do it this way and be like, okay, I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna be perfect, I'm gonna be, yeah. And then when I come in front of this, in front of you, the people, I am kind of on the edge of not knowing really what to say. It's kind of really hard for me to really think about things to say because I'm not used to doing this. But then again, when I started playing saxophone, I mean, I wasn't used to doing that. But vlogging is like a completely different beast. I mean, with playing an instrument, you're probably playing for like a few people. With this, millions upon millions upon millions could be watching this. And that freaks me the, the freak out. I'm not gonna be cussing on this, at least not so much, and, and not so vulgar. It's really hard for me just to be comfortable and just saying, this is me, because I like to play around. I like to goof off. I like to have fun. And it's kind of hard just because this is such a big spectrum that a lot of people can't be successful at, but then you can look like a complete fool at if you don't know what's going on. You get what I'm saying? You got so many different vloggers and there's so many different people that I look up to in the vlogging world that are doing this and doing it well. And especially for somebody like me, especially person of color, there's not a lot of people that, you know, are in the same kind of spectrum that I want to get into. Andre Black Nerd Comedy, he, he is amazing. He is good at what he does. If you've never seen him, you need to check him out. Black Nerd Comedy on YouTube. Also, Lamar Wilson, he's pretty good. I mean, both of them are people that I've been looking up to, especially since they're just like me, they're black guys, but they're doing stuff that they love, and I want to be able to do this because I've really seriously been trying to do this for a long time, and just me mustering up the confidence just to actually do this. And it kills me just because I know I can do it. I know I have the, you know, the personality and the mindset to do it. It just, I don't want people to really think that I am going to be, I really just don't want people just to think that I am one person because, you know, one way, and I'm not. I am so many different things. I am a fiance, I'm a brother, I'm a son, I am a server, I'm a musician, I'm a fraternity brother, I am, you know, I'm a wrestling fan, I'm a beer drinker. 
I, I like to do different things and I want this to be something that I love to do just because I like to be, you know, ah. <laughs> be able to just have that confidence and have that feeling that I can be able to talk to you and know exactly what I want to talk about. Blogging, in my sense, I mean, it's, it's for anybody and everybody. I've literally seen people as young as, I want to say 12, all the way as old to close to 70. I'm not saying that I want to be famous because I definitely don't want to be famous. I just want to be successful. Being successful and being famous are two different things in my opinion. You can be successful but not be famous. But some people can be famous but not be successful. With this blogging, I want to be able to give advice, let you know what I've been through in my life and be able to, you know, let you see what I am interested in and hopefully you're interested in the same stuff that I am. Cause like I said, I love beer. I love wrestling. I love music. I love the city of Birmingham. I like watching football. I like watching basketball. I've actually, throughout this World Cup series, I've actually been getting into soccer a little bit. Not saying that I am going to be a soccer fan, but I've been interested in watching soccer and I want to be able to get into more and more things like video games, comics. I've been reading comics within the last week or so and I've been loving it. And I want to be able to do more and talk about more stuff that I'm interested in and just be able just to come out and talk to you, the people, and hopefully, you know, I don't want to say followers because I don't see if, I, if somebody is following me, but I don't see them as a follower. I see them as somebody who is trying to get into what I want to get into as my cat hits the track pod. Hold on. Come here. Come here. You see what I mean? Even that, I am... It's... Go. I'm not trying to be the next top YouTuber. I know that the way I am, I'm so laid back and chill that being that top person that people look into or look look up to, it probably wouldn't work out. But that does not mean that I don't want to be successful at this. And that does not mean that I don't want to be able to interact with everybody that comes towards me. In the long run, this vlogging channel, this YouTube channel, is something that I seriously want to do. I seriously want to be able to just come across to you, let you know how I am, let you know who I am, and be able to, who knows, maybe even find more stuff about myself that I didn't know. Tell me what you think. Am I thinking too hard about this? Am I just, you know, overreacting a little bit too much? Perfect question. For anybody that's a YouTuber, blogger, anybody that's in the community, tell me how you first started out. Tell me what how you felt when you started doing blogging or started your YouTube channel. And tell me what you, and tell me how you went through all of this because I want to be able to learn more and I want to be able to do more. I mean, I'm gonna still be me and I'm gonna still be the person that I am, but I would like to know more about blogging and be able to learn more about this whole channel. Leave a comment below. And if you like this video, if you felt like you were agreeing with me on some of these stuff, hit the like button. button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because this is gonna be a journey. This is really gonna be a journey, not only just for you, but for me as well. <sighs> It's, it's been an interesting talk. I, I'm actually feeling good about this. <sighs> it just feels like now there's weight coming off my shoulders. So it's going to be all right. I'm going to be good. And hopefully you be good as well. Make sure you be kind to one another. Make sure you be respectful for one another. Until the next time I see you, 